Welcome back to the Random Stuff Garage. Today, we're looking at G.I. Joe Classified Dusty. Um, I'm a little bit behind on Joes, and I've still got a whole bunch more of them to unbox, but uh, I picked this guy up recently, and I kind of want him to uh, complete a certain team that uh, I've been assembling. So um, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, this is, of course, pre- uh, plastic free packaging so you still got the uh the giant motif on the back and their skill sets uh that you can look up on gi joe.com to understand what the heck they are oh this looks like desert survival that's pretty cool never seen that little cactus and a, i guess that's the sun that's cool um he's skilled with words i guess he's a professional discussionist <laughs> Okay, um, really cool. I like the uh, I like I like that that artwork there. Is that's really neat. I like that. Very cool. And uh, that's how much I paid for it. Actually, uh, you think I used my GameStop reward points on this, so it wasn't that much. I did good. I did good. Let's crack this thing open, shall we? Okay, I use my five dollar monthly reward or whatever. My pro points. GameStop slowly becoming my favorite, man. These other retailers kind of dropping the ball. The Target in my area charging $29 for Marvel Legends. Not even kidding. All right, so we got uh, we got uh, uh, Dusty out of out of his his cardboard and plastic. Now we got him out of the plastic. He's very um, the tan is almost like orange. I get a very butterscotch vibe from this guy. People were talking about, they recently revealed those uh, for Yo Joe June. How are the hips? Oh, good. Oh, nice. No sticky hips. Uh, yeah, elbows are kind of a different color. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So the elbows are kind of a different color. I knew that going in, but I was like, you know what? It's Dusty, man. This, uh, so Dusty is kind of important to me. He's, he's significant. Um, I didn't have the original as a kid. I had the Tiger Force version, and people were probably going to ask, well, are you going to revisit your childhood collection and buy the Tiger Force one? To that, I say no. No, because the only reason I had the Tiger Force one is because I missed the original. I, I missed, uh, I, didn't, I didn't catch the original version, but I thought Dusty was cool. What's not to like about it? Oh, is that... Finally, man, is that a K-Bar? Yo, that, focus, come on, come on. That's the closest thing I've seen to a K-Bar with any figure. Hit me up in the comments if I'm wrong. But I haven't seen a K-Bar, like a, like a United States Marine Corps K-Bar knife. Oh, come on, focus already. There, that. So, the United States Marine Corps K-Bar is very important. Ask any Marine. They'll tell you. Um, very meaningful knife. This is the closest thing I've seen with any figure to come with a K-Bar yet. So that's cool. Um, I don't remember if in the lore if Dusty was a Marine or if he was a soldier. I don't remember. No, I said he was important to me. That's, that's, uh, I may or may not put something ahead of this video to explain that. And, oh, this magazine, it's like, it feels like rubber. I mean, I guess it kind of is. Anyway, sort of got a FAMAS here. It goes that way, I believe. Uh, which way does the slant go? Peeps, peeps in the chat, in the chat. Yeah, should I go live? I should do a live one of these days. Oh yeah, I think it goes that way. I think the slant goes that way. Yeah, it looks better. All right, so he's got his... So mine, the, the bipod doesn't flop around. It's nice and stable when it's up. Gosh, you guys, it's probably so blurry. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the screen. Um, it's nice and stable. It's not falling down. That's cool. Um, it's even got a port in the front. I said port. It's even got a... Uh, an opening in the front of the barrel. 
or a blast effect that he does not come with. But I may have something I need to unbox that does come with blast effects. Like I said, I'm way behind. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's kind of low. Ankle uh, sheath for his knife there. His K bar, which I may or may not paint accurately with the dark brown grips, uh, grip rings there. I might even get, like, the man, the K bar is, is so significant. I might even get myself a, a real one. I don't know. They're just cool. So, why is Dusty significant to me? Because he's the desert guy uh, for a few reasons. Um, that's that's significant to me because um, I grew up camping with my dad in the deserts of Southern California, and I've always liked it. I've always enjoyed it. I've never really had like a bad time. I've gotten like headaches and stuff and dehydration and stuff. But we would just camp there, like in the back of his truck, or like you know he had a, an old Ford. F-150, uh, 79, and, uh, oh, yeah, okay, so, all right, already gripes, I have gripes already, you'll hear them in a second, so I grew up camping, that's yeah, better, I grew up camping in the deserts of Southern California, uh, my whole life, still do, and, um, the desert, man, it's kind of like, I don't know, I like, I like desert, you know, woods are nice, too, because it's cooler, and there's trees and shade, but the desert, I don't know, there's just something calming about it to me. You know, there's the peaceful nothingness. Um, I also grew up uh, during the times of the the first Gulf War. You had your Operation Desert Shield, followed immediately by Desert Storm. So what does that mean? Well, for me, I was growing up growing up at a time playing with GI Joes. That's a nice and tight fit on that backpack. The helmet, not so much, but backpack is cool um but i grew up great articulation on this guy man everything's smooth everyone's complaining about like all this qa stuff my dusty is smooth as dude like i'm really happy like his his hip joints work they drop down fine they don't they don't stick there's no fear of snapping the dog bones in in his hips um, the helmet's a little wonky, but more on that in a little, in a little bit here. These butterflies are, eh, they're, they're, they do stuff. Okay, they go a little further. Probably just got to work them a little bit. Now these, the bicep swivels, that's where I'm hearing this wave had issues. My Zorana, no problems. Okay, I see a little bit. See there? Little, little bit of a gappy gap. I don't know if you can see it. If I can get that on camera. A little bit of a get there, there, a little bit. And that's just a big crank on it, man. But it's, you know, it's not bad. I'm not saying that nobody's justified in their complaints about recent QC or quality assurance, quality control um, with classified, but I haven't had a stinker yet. Maybe I'm lucky, and that's rare for me. I usually get stinkers. I think. I think my Renew Your Vows Spider-Man 2 pack, his left knee is like stuck. Like it's like glued stuck. It's crazy. Like I almost broke it trying to flex his knee, but that's the only stinker I've had recently. Anyway, yeah, I grew up with like Desert Shield, Desert Storm at a time that I was like playing with G.I. Joes. And I was like, whoa, this is like the real deal. And no, I, I understand. War is not cool. War sucks. People die. I understand that. And, you know also another reason why I served 20 years in the Navy. It's like, I wanted to, you know, fight for my country if need be. And uh, there was a couple times I went out there and, and actually did that for the second round of Gulf Wars for enduring freedom and all that, or Iraqi freedom. I was out there, uh, granted I was on an aircraft carrier, but I was doing the thing, man. And um, part of that may be because of uh, Mr. Dusty here, Mr. Tater. Um so he's, he's kind of a, he's a meaningful figure for me. Um, just the, the whole desert thing, you know, um, whether it be for peacetime relaxation and vacation time camping, or whether it be for like when the stuff hits the fan, man, and you gotta, you gotta respond. 
So, um, Dusty, man, he's cool. So, gripes, not much, not much. Um, I, I like what they did here with the, the kind of skirt thing. It's cool because it gives, it really does give, like, the, the untucked, like, BDUs or battle dress uniform fatigue, like, top. It gives that feel because too many times you see Joes with, like, their shirts, like, tucked into their pants, and it's like, yeah, people do that, I guess, sometimes, but, like, I think... I think when it comes down to it, like, you don't want stuff tucked into your pants, really. Maybe other than, like, an undershirt. Um, it's just my personal... And it's period correct, man. Like, in the 90s, that's that's how we wore it, man. With, like, the coffee stains and the chocolate, ch the chocolate chips. If you know, you know. Uh, the different camo patterns of your different branches. Um, but this is good, man. And I like, I like the top of the torso, where it's got an undershirt, and it's still a button-up with the top button undone. So he's a little relaxed, you know. Um, he's not full battle, like, full battle dress, I think you'd have that top button done, but, you know, he's kind of, you know, I'm ready, but not, you know, button to the top ready. But, um, I like, I like the shirt, man, and I think I might be able to use that later on for a custom, so I might be getting another Dusty, we'll see, we'll see. If, if my, <laughs> if I get better at, at, at dying figures than I was, yeah, with the, uh, with the Outback Punisher that I did, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's seen that. I don't know if I put that on a video yet. But yeah, I made a I made a, a uh, old man Punisher out of a Outback bonus figure in this video. Yeah, so I I started by dyeing. I popped them all apart and I dyed the orange shirt part black, but it didn't stick because I got the wrong color kind of dye. I didn't get the synthetic type. I just got like the cloth, you know, for dyeing fabrics. <laughs> it didn't stick, so I ended up just painting it, and it turned out fine. I think it's cool. I dig it. It's very uh, old man Frank. You know, it's cool. See, that's, I would have gave him a K-bar there, but nobody had one yet. So I just used whatever came with Tiger Force Outback. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, the shirt. Yeah, so if <laughs> if I get better at dyeing uh, plastic, if I get the actual synthetic dye, I might, I might do something with that. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, more on that later. Waiting for shipwreck. Then you'll see. Anyway, yeah, man, um, he's good. The the yeah complaints. Uh, head sculpt head sculpt is solid, man. It's pretty cool. He looks, I mean, not like you know, Dusty's not a real person, but if he was, he's cool, man. I like that. Uh, I like that sculpt a lot. Very cool. Much better than Falcon, which I don't have yet, but I'm not. You know, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the Falcon. I'm gonna get the Matt Damon. Yeah. Why? Because, you know, he's a Joe, and I don't know, I guess I'm a mark for Joes. <laughs> and there's hopes that somebody will come out with, like, there's always a possibility of swapping heads with somebody, someone from another line, to kind of fix figures. I'm about it, man. I'm about getting a figure, and even if, if there are shortcomings, I just fix the shortcomings, you know? Um... Doesn't always have to be, oh, this is it, and I have to live with it like this forever. And like, no, just fix it, you know? Should you have to? No, but for me, that's part of the fun. And here's here's one of my gripes. Is this squishy, squishy thing. And it doesn't really stand his head very well. The goggles, they flip right off. You gotta really like and you can't even like stretch them on this because then the helmet just squishes. So I gotta really push them down. Like I guess it gets helps to get it on the head. And and the fact, what is why why, why they make that plastic? They could have easily done. I mean, they did it on the the vintage one. They had fabric way back in what 1980. Oh sh yeah, I'm gonna go to hell for this. When was the original Dusty out? 85. I think 85 was Dusty. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I probably am. 85 or 86 maybe. They did cloth on a little helmet back then. Why would they do rubber on this? Why? See, like I just pushed on this and it boop, pops up off of. Like, why doesn't he strap, maybe strap your helmet on and it wouldn't go flying off when you breathe on it? So if you really smush it down, I guess it stays on better. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like the helmet, the helmet kind of bugs. If there was one thing I would improve on this, if there was one shortfall, I would say it's the helmet. Even the goggles don't bother me much because they would stay on better. 
if the helmet was just a little more rigid and if they put soft goods under for the for the what would they call that a skirt i don't know do you have a skirt on a helmet is it a kilt i don't know anyway overall man uh not not a bad figure at all uh oh if you saw these um shout out to uh sal two cent toys dude hooked me up thanks sal i, I appreciate that if you're watching um i i purchased something from him to help him out in his endeavors and i guess as a as a show of thanks for no extra cost and didn't even tell me about it they just showed up with what i bought and it's uh they're they're weapon crates so so i put some weapons in them I uh, took an X-Acto and just kind of lightly gouged the lid there and stuck an action force. What is that, like a Bowie knife in there? Yeah, so that's just kind of hanging out. Part of the background there. But yeah, man, uh, I'm happy overall. I'm 96% I'm happy with Dusty. And now I can uh, really finish my desert team that I'll show you here in just a second with some, uh, yeah, it's photo time. See you later.